It's too bad how it all ended up. No one ever thought something like this could happen. It was always going to the stars. The bright future that awaits us. Now all I can do is lie here and think about it all. How long ago did the robots attack? To be honest, I haven't been very good at keeping track of time. But it must have been quite a while ago. At least a few days. How did you end up in the corridor? I was the first one they did in. Lab Tech 42 did it. I went to get some coffee, and it grabbed me by the neck. And snapped it. Right here. Can you tell me anything? How did this all get started? It was quick, unexpected, and very bloody. You're lucky, you know. There are only a few robots here now. The first day, the place was swarming with them. Every corridor had someone screaming, or dying, or both. And where did the robots go? How should I know? All over the facility, I guess. I assume they went through those tunnels. A few of them got stopped or taken out. And I guess the rest are probably still out there, waiting for you. You seem pretty calm about this. Why shouldn't I be? I had my fill of screaming when it all went down. I freaked out, swore, saw terrified, dying people. Funny thing is, what scared them most wasn't the robots that were butchering them. It was seeing me dead and talking. But why do you think that is? Because it's a damn scary thing to be talking to a dead man. I mean, why I'm talking? I've no idea. I'm not even sure I'm happy about it. It doesn't matter anyway. Well, I gotta run. All right, see you. What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. But there's something wrong with this sprout. A killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. Attracting their attention is not advised. Too late. the rescue team. More like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no alarm. No army coming to the rescue. Did you see how all this got started? Can you tell me about it? I don't want to, but I certainly can. The machines didn't attack right away. They sort of spread throughout the facility at first, so they could attack all at once. I suspected something was off the moment the lab tech robots all went into our offices and positioned themselves behind people's backs. Most of my colleagues died right at their workstations. What scared me most wasn't the killing, but the way they slowly walked towards the humans. 
It was kind of like gym class, when they tell you to split up into pairs. How long ago did you die? I don't remember, but I stayed alive longer than most. The machines couldn't get to where I was, since there was no way in. There was shooting, and then hoses started coming out of everywhere. Most people died in the first couple of seconds, very quickly. Robots either smashed their heads in or snapped their necks, like popping the caps off soda bottles. We took to our heels, but then a lab tech grabbed comrade Afanasi. There was a soldier around who tried to stop them, but he just had time to say, Oh, that's where I sort of stopped being scared and charged the robot. The last thing I remember is being dead. Um, I'm sorry. We're gonna take those motherfuckers down. You can't blame the machines. Humans did this. Doesn't look like an accident to me. It'd take months to plan something like this. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complexes. Congratulations on your promotion, comrade Zolotukhin. Deputy Director of the Vavilov Complex is a very important position. Right now, our primary goal is to provide the Soviet people with sustenance, which requires great attention. But very, very soon, mankind's first steps into outer space will begin right here as well. As an outstanding botanist, you will be tasked with overseeing the creation of entire systems of plants designed to terraform the surfaces of other worlds. Comrade Sechinov and I had a talk earlier, and we're both delighted that you have joined our team. <laughs> you see, Vic, we do not just want to plant corn on the moon. We want to take a bite of a bigger apple on Mars. I've got a personal request for you, Vic. The Pavlov complex is in the middle of a big polymer study right now, and humdrum though it may seem, they're short of testing sites. Could you do me a favor and put a small department off in a remote wing somewhere? They just need to observe how animals behave in a polymer suit. It's top secret, of course, but just about everything in your complex is top secret, isn't it? Pavlov will start sending you the polymer in vats first. We'll build a pipeline just as soon as the Ministry of Finance approves it. Thank you in advance. Comrade Zalatuchin, my dear colleague, we haven't really had a chance to get acquainted yet, but I assure you, if you attend our theater under my guidance, you'll never forget the name Lastoshkin. I've got a little favor to ask you. Could you send us a few of those fascinating flowers of yours? The theater just isn't green enough, and it could use a little more exoticism if you catch my drift. A little bird told me you've got some creeping bushes now. I'd love to have a dozen of those to wow my VIPs with. I'll make it worth your while, of course. Sincerely yours, Stepan Lastoshkin.
Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff? Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-celled plant life to livestock and other animals. That's some neat fish you've got in that aquarium. Is it just me or are the guys at Pavlov just selling us junk? We're just not getting. They've got different polymers over there with different characteristics. We go traits into polymers here, but over there they splice them in. Does that make sense? Don't get too smart, buddy. Or I didn't see that uncuck was tough obsessed, you know? Yeah, I hear ya. Oh, crap. I keep turning my chirp around with my elbow by mistake. I hope they get rid of that function in the next update.
goddamn clusterfuck. took you for the hope I didn't get anything mixed up Take your blood pressure medication. playing an excerpt from an automated recording of your last work shift That should do the trick. Thank you. 
Fuck! Did I just kill all of them? It's standard to the manufacturing process. It's where the polymer's organic components come from. Where'd they all go then? To the algae workshop. To undergo polymeric synthesis. I don't even want to know. so many planners in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terraform the Moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel.
number 907-44A and number 075-332-N. Your sentence is having altered following a case review. You will hand over all equipment to your supervisor and proceed to social control. Repeat. Nothing but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. So how do I fill the canister? The canister fills with cryopolymer automatically. We just need to wait. That sounds a little too easy. Looks like we've got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing. Comrade Babylon, the graduate students have come up with a new pastime. They're playing with Jack Toe on the beating tennis. One of them plants corn, the other plants tomatoes. And they go back and forth like that. I was going to chew them out, but then I realized it's actually a decent little game. It's like a whole new kind of chess. What do you think about opening an agricultural game? Shit! What's the matter with it? What am I supposed to do? The canister will only be filled if an optimal low temperature is maintained in the workshop. 
The fans blow cold air into the room. They need to stay on and don't let the sprouts fly into the spinning fan blades. Why the fuck didn't you tell me that before? Shit, the fan turned off. Try using shock to restart it. Wow. Day. Finally. Ah. 
sure love these goddamn canisters of yours. You guys never get sick of shoving them into things. Well, it's a tradition. Yeah, well, maybe you should think about reevaluating your traditions. If I see one more canister. Do you like it here, sugar? I find this facility so depressing. It sure is. Why? Is there a more cheerful place somewhere? Of course there is, handsome. Anywhere I can tie up disgusting, horny creeps will do for me. Ugh, you're seriously fucked in the head, lady. Oh, honey, it's the ones with tendrils sprouting out of their heads that are seriously fucked. Not me. So, you didn't like it here because there weren't enough people? There are never enough. I'm so bored. You are a breath of fresh air, handsome. Enter me, hard and often. Oh, fuck.
So, what do you think? Crispy critters! Quiet, damn it! There's something dangerous up ahead. And that's my fucking line. Indeed. But we still need to get that canister. Oh. Especially entertaining, of course, to read the reports from the Americans at length. Please hand over all citizens to your supervisor and proceed to social control. Repeat. 